What's up, guys? Welcome back to my witchy world, witches. How are we all feeling today? I am Shannon, and this is Karma's a Witch. So today, um, we have... Uh, sit. Wow, I just went for a little bit of a jog. Uh, so now I'm all like, woo! Um, so we have Sacred Space Crate today. And for this month, I know she, I'm pretty sure she's starting the elements themes. Um, I can't remember which element it is this month, but I'm very excited for this. Very, very excited for this. Um, so we're just going to shut up and we're going to get right into it. So let's open her up. Okay. Pretty big box this time around. So right on top, we have our paperwork. Air, so it's the element of air. There we go. Okay, it says this series will take us back to the basics of magic using the four main elemental forces in our practice. Everything in the universe began with these forces. There is no greater magic than that. Learning to recognize the makeup and qualities of the elements is the first step to using them for magic. Ask yourself, what does it feel, smell, taste, sound, and look like? How does it keep me alive, and why can't I survive without it? And lastly, how can I use it for magic? Let's begin in the east where the sun rises, the element of air. Walk outside and feel the wind or breeze on your skin. Feel the air as it enters your body and fills up your lungs, giving you life. Air carries your thoughts, voice, and messages. It connects everything in the universe to you and vice versa. You can invoke air simply by raising your hands up and saying with meaning, I invoke air. Or you can use a lot of rhyming, fancy words uh, if that makes you feel more powerful and more focused. Same rule goes with consecrating your magical items. You can simply hold them. Whoops. You can simply hold the item over or under the item you are creating the element with and say, I consecrate this item with air. The only trick is that you have to feel what you are saying with every fiber of your being. The magic is within you, and it takes you releasing it with intention, meaning, and purpose for magic to work. Uh, the items... The items in this box, in this month's box, were chosen and curated to assist you in connecting with the element of air. So we are going to put this aside because I don't want to know. Um, bloop. And then this is the calendar for the month. Very beautiful artwork. Gorgeous. It's the bottom there. And then we have the back. Very nice. It's very beautiful artwork. Awesome. Okay. So let's get into the box. So we have the elements of air. So this looks like um, just a bunch of information associated with the element of air. This is beautiful, like a little... Book of Shadows page there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. And there's some fairies on it. We have right on top, we have a little black feather with like a gold tip to it. There you go, you can see that. Very cool. Let's see. Now we just now I just see a bunch of wormies. move those out of the way. All right, first thing I see is a sage bundle. Mm, smells so good. So the sage bundles that I've gotten in the past from Sacred Space Crate always feel like, like super fresh. Oh, it smells so good. So we have a very thick little bundle of sage. Very cool, love sage. Can't, can't have enough sage. Um, next, we have handcrafted organic salve chamomile for soothing rashes or minor burns and sunburns. Uh, organic chamomile flowers, grapeseed oil, and organic beeswax. I don't smell anything. 
Okay. Very cool. Um, next we have a little bag with a stone in it. Ooh, it's beautiful. It's like a purpley color. Purpley gray color. It's very beautiful. Um, I think I know what it is, but I'm not going to say because I don't want to sound like a dumb dumb. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We have, looks like our oil. I, if I'm going through this super quickly, it's because I'm very excited to see what everything is. So we have air ritual oil. Looks like we have a bay leaf in there and some gold leaf. I'll just show you. It's either glitter or like gold leaf. Let's see. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, okay. So let's make a note that the oil now has a sealed plastic like wrapping around it so now we have to actually like take the little plastic piece off oh this smells good mmm that smells really good I like it yeah that smells it so when you first put it on it has a very floral scent to it but after a minute or two it actually smells sort of like soft and like a like a powdery type of scent mmm that smells really good we have some more wormies in here hopefully there's nothing in these all right so we got bubble wrap here little bubble wrap Ooh, is this? Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. So this is, wow. So this is a little, um, I think it's like an incense holder. Now, my question is where the heck do you show the incense? Oh, I see it. Look at this. Ooh, and the little um, like eye is like red. Ooh, I love this. Very, very cool. Very cool. And I love, actually, the camera is picking up the fact that there's, like, slight coloring on it. Like, you can see it's got, like, a hint of green up here. There's, like, a little hint of, like, red or whatever. Like a, but in person it doesn't look, it doesn't look as vibrant, but it could just be my lighting. So you can see it a little bit better. Very cool. So it's either a crow or a raven. I think it's a crow. Either way, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I'm obsessed. Okay, so next we have incense called fairy dust. I grabbed this because I want to see. I want to show you like where the hole is on this guy. That's not the hole. There it is. Bam! So as you can see, the incense kind of is further out than the actual thing. So this is all going to fall on the table here. But then the rest of it will get caught. So just some food for thought. Thought you might like to know. Making sure that I'm just, it's not like a human error. User error. No, it's, I mean, it's in there. So, I mean, I don't care about stuff like that, but um, you can see it's a pretty hefty amount that's going to basically fall. 
but that's all right. It's still beautiful. I love it. If I offend you by my horrible accent, I apologize. It's pretty bad, I know. All right, so we have our herb. This is Butcher's Broom Root. Interesting. I don't think I've ever gotten this before. It smells woodsy. Cool. Filled to the top. Beautiful. I love these jars. Awesome. Um, oh my goodness, there's there's so much. Okay. Got a little gold baggie here. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but I like it. Do I know what this is? I feel like I've seen this before, and it's like a, a I can't remember what the heck it is, but it's gorgeous. It's like a milky, whitish, tan color. Love it, and it's stretchy. Okay, we got this guy. Super curious. I don't know why I just shook it. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. It's a candle. Ooh, it smells good. I love it. So it's the element of air. And then there's a little like incantation on the back that says, here and now, I evoke the elemental force of air, the winds of intellect and imagination, swirling source of light, breathe, breath and life. I seek the open sky within myself that I might breathe deep of. Freedom, ideas, sounds, and space. I call you forth to sweep away all that accumulates in the unseen places and to sing beauty into the world. Wing and feather, storm and leaf, Air, I call thee hence, and this smells so good. Mm. So, I'll show you. That work there. What's up, Mom? What's up, Eddie? That's the what? top. There's some stones in there, too. What? Gorgeous. See you see it? Yeah. It's pretty, right? Oh, it's It's really good. Really good? Mmm, yes it does. Alright, Bubba, can I finish? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Alright, you guys, so I think we are down to the last item. And this box looks very similar to the um, Hecate plaque that we got last month. So this may be in the same realm as that. I don't know. To me either, dude. It's just a guess. I'm. Just, I gotta. Cl I have to clean these worms up because they bu they bug me when they get everywhere. All right, and then we'll get rid of this box. I found worms. Boom. All right, so we got this guy, and it says "Element of Air" on the little sticker there. Oh, yeah. So let's open her up and see what it is. Yeah. Okay? Okay. I'm not standing right now. Ugh, I hate the foam. What are you saying? I hate this foam. I hate this foam? You have to build yeah, it? Yeah, so it looks like a little plaque. Ooh, this is exciting because I think I want to, in this area here, I think I want to hang up all, all of these little plaques. Oh, that was loud. <gasps> yes, I love it. I'll try and make that symbol. Oh, God, I hate this foam stuff. I hate it so much. I mean, it's great for, for packaging. I mean, it works, but it gets everywhere. And it's so staticky. Ooh, it's so pretty. Yes, I'm here. Get out of the I love it. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to hang. 
they're all gonna go like right here right there right there they are and I'm probably gonna stagger them ooh I'm excited this is gorgeous we've got some lovely little crows on there yeah. I, I think they're crows hopefully it tells me the difference they look like what crows is this one? it's for incense you burn incense on it so this is cool I'm obsessed I have a bird. I'm a it's with the eye. okay can I finish please I'm just sitting here and just watching you yeah but you're also talking and if you talk then they can't hear me talk Oh, sorry. Exactly. So, I'm like, a, I'm obsessed with crows. I love crows. Um, and raven. I just like blackbirds. I think they're really cool. Um, so, this is right up my alley. I love this. And what a, what a cool little touch to put on the symbol as well. I love that a lot. Very, very cool. I am super satisfied with these, with these plaques. First of all, I like that they're not, you know, just like one color. There's actual like diff, de yeah, <laughs> different colors. Like the the um the crow's feet are a different color than the bird, which is a different color from the twig, and even the the branch that it's on is a different color from the symbol. So this is just really really cool, very very cool. Super exciting. There's a little hook on the back, but it also came with just like the um, Hecate one. It also came with a little stand as well. So I love this. Love, 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 love it. Very, very cool. So that is it for this box. Let's see what the paperwork had to say. All right, so we have the element air air element wall plaque. A, uh, this truly unique wall plaque was designed and hand painted by myself to re to both represent the air element and to add power in your sacred space. I gave it a distressed wood look with two ravens. So these are ravens that are not only standing guard, but delivering messages to you. Consecrate this item with the element of air for best results. Incense, smoke, will do, see below. Uh, I chose the raven as the totem animal theme for this box. You are all, you, if you already have a connection to ravens, then you understand why, but if the, the raven spirit is new to you, then it's worth the reward to spend some time learning about them so that you can develop a connection with it. Ravens are friendly and sociable and greatly enjoy being part of a group. Despite their talkativeness, they are very discreet and are therefore able to keep secrets well. The ability to maintain an objective mindset allows the raven to see all sides of an issue. Uh, making them great mediators. It is this ability, however, that may cause het hesitancy in decision making Whoa. as ravens strive to be fair at all times while the energy of a raven is greatly upbeat and cheerful disorder or confusion can send them into a spiral of moodiness ravens also bring you messages as well as deliver your messages and prayers even if you never physically see one they will come to you in spirit you will start to see them in your dreams and or meditation uh, which is very funny because late, uh, there was, I think right before the quarantine, I think I saw a total of like three to four ravens all at different times. So that's why I have like a special place in my heart for like crows and ravens because I've always seen them as like signs and um, like messages. So that's really cool. Um, then we have the Raven Incense Burner slash Holder. The incense holder, which is adorned with a watchful raven, is made from poly resin, used to burn either your stick incense or cone incenses. The Fairy Dust Incense Sticks um, not only smell delicious, but are beautiful as well. 
because they oh they have little little glitters at the bottom you're probably never going to be able to see that but there is a slight gl uh, glitter at the handle um a fresh citrus scent with notes of bergamot lavender musk and patchouli formulated to mask smoke odor after a ritual or ceremony smoke bath of sage or tobacco also use on your altar with your raven incense burner to represent the elements of air great for consecrating your magical tools and objects as well there is a correct way to light an incense stick hold the stick upright not sideways so upright not sideways or upside down while you light it so this is how it's supposed to be not like this not like this not like this okay upright <laughs> um light it then blow your flame out after you let it burn for about six seconds blowing your incense flame out is important because it releases the fragrance into the air and keeps your stick burning cleanly very very cool that's good to know for anybody who's new to the world of incense so very cool i love that she puts those um beginner friendly statements in there uh, air seven day prayer candle, which is our yellow candle here. Uh, hand poured candle was spell crafted on the August full moon. Um, scented with sweet tobacco for its air cleansing and healing qualities. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Adorned with genuine gold mica stone flakes. Uh, filled with quartz, crystal chips, and fairy dust made from stone, not plastic. Oh, very cool. Uh, I added a beautiful, beautiful invocation of air on the back of the candle that you can recite as you burn the candle. Use this candle to represent the element of air on your altar. Use in your rituals or spell casting as an off offering to the element of air. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the uses are so versatile and it should last you a very long time. Um, air ritual oil. I'm going to try and skip through this. So it's got gold mica stone chips, blue appetite chip, quartz crystal chips, um, her own personal essential oil blend called night air. okay let's see there's a lot more information on um, these items uh, I just don't read through it all because this video would be like two hours long um, we have a moonstone bracelet that's why it looked familiar I've been getting a lot of moonstone in these boxes lately so we have some moonstone all different types of moonstone, but I have been getting a lot of moonstone. Um, you may have received either a mixed moonstone bracelet or a rainbow moonstone bracelet. Both are used for wind rituals and spells. Uh, it's a gem for intuition, balance, and wishes. Uh, channel helps channel one's feminine side and attunes you with the attunes you with the divine feminine can aid in distinguishing what is merely needed in life versus what is wanted. As you wear your moonstone on a regular basis, you will start to realize the negative energies that play in the grand scheme of your being and eventually learn to heal yourself. Interesting. Uh, it's, some believe that it can bring relief from menstrual problems, prevent water retention, cleanse the digestive system, and reduce obesity. Cool, very cool. Um, butcher's broom root, which was our herb. Um, it's a, a long been associated with witches and flying spells, but there are many ways uh, which to use this herb in your practice. Burn during divination, add to water for water divination, Used for any fairy rituals or spells. Used for any air elements or wind spells or rituals. Burn on a charcoal tab during meditation to enhance psychic powers. It is 
it's 8 10 at night and I've been up since 6 o'clock in the morning so I am starting to get a little bit tired I'm gonna try and make it through this I apologize for yawning in your faces um, you can also use an emojo or a witch's bag for protection a uh, small lapidolite polished stone. That's why it looked familiar because it's lapidolite. Um, high lithium stone and is very useful in balancing one's emotional body and calming the mind. It is most effective in calming frayed nerves, helping you to release stress and worry and setting one on the path of willing acceptance. It is at at its best, when life is at its most challenging. Now I'm starting to struggle with reading. Um, uh, when one is faced with angry people, financial woes, loss of job or relationship, or the need to make major changes in a short time span. Lapidolite not only brings calm to stormy emotional times, it also provides an energy of enlightened awareness that... A, yeah, awareness that keeps you on the beam so that you can handle the situation in the highest way, preserving your integrity and well-being. Um, sage wand, uh, one of the strongest purifying agents. Sage is used to drive out evil, burn it to clear a space of negativity, or just prepare it for any secret purpose. Um, da -da -da. There's a lot of information here on sage. Lots of it. Um, element of air grimoire work. Work art. Yeah. No. Uh, artwork. Artwork was hand drawn by Samantha Leah. Samantha Leah Trick, aka Schmoozy, on Instagram and Facebook. We will continue these pages in the series. Very cool. Then we have our moon in the zodiac calendar, and then a, the bonus item is the chamomile salve, um, which can be used to treat diaper rash, cracked nipples, sunburns, chicken pox, uh, ear and eye infections, disorders of the eyes including blocked tear ducts, conjunctivitis, nasal inflammation, and poison ivy. Basically, it is great for soothing the skin when used externally. This salve was handcrafted using organic chamomile flowers. Um, <laughs> next month's theme is the element of fire. Super exciting. Um, yeah, that's it. So very, very cool. Uh, this was... This was, a, this was a really good box. I'm like, uh, I, I'm like so tired right now. My energy is so low and I feel so bad because usually I'm like super pumped about these boxes. Um, I am still super pumped about this box. It, I love it. Everything that came in it. I am loving these seven day candles. I feel like we get just so much out of them. I love them so freaking much. Um, and I am obsessed, obsessed with the wall plaque and the incense burner. I think this is amazing. These alone sold. And this is hand, like she hand did this herself. That This is amazing. I mean, this is just, it's incredible. Um, you know, from a couple of, of boxes ago, there, there was some, some, There was some drama like surrounding the statues and, and, and things like that. So I am so proud of Melissa for handcrafting these plaques. I think it's amazing and it's a great way to shut everybody up, you know. So uh, very, very cool. I'm super excited. Thank you, Melissa. This is amazing. Uh, amazing, amazing box. Thank you for putting your efforts and, and, and everything. Just basically putting yourself into this box. I'm so super excited. I can't wait to get all of the... I'm hoping that you're putting a plaque in for every single one because now I'm so excited to hang them all up on this wall right here. Um, beyond excited. I'm very, very excited to do that. Uh, and this box... I am an air sign, so 
This box was right up my alley. I'm super excited. I'm super excited to learn about uh, the elements and, and things that are associated with the element of air. Um, I actually just recently bought a book for the elements to learn more. So this is amazing. I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, don't forget to follow me on social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. More active on Instagram than anywhere else. I will put it in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. Uh, along with any other Info, like all the information on the box, the pricing, where you, like the website, all that stuff, my PO box, my Amazon wish list, uh, all that stuff is listed down below. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave it down below. I will get back to you. I try and respond to every single comment that is left on my videos. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> make sure you subscribe stick around become part of the karma fam it's pretty fun here when i'm not low energy um and if you are already subscribed make sure you share this video with your friends uh i think that's it i love you all thank you all for being here have a beautiful day or night wherever you are and i'll catch you in the next one bye